Hello, everybody. So we want to talk about executive pay for a little bit. And I'm going to read you a couple of background aspects to it. From 1978 to today, CEO compensation, inflation adjusted, increased 937%. So during that uh, quite a bit of period, almost almost 40 year period, increased 937%. A rise more than double the stock market growth, double the stock market growth, and substantially greater than the painfully slow 10.2% growth in a typical way, typical workers' compensation in the world. Amazingly different. The average CEO now makes 200 times the salary of an average worker, which is up nearly 60 times since 1989. So it went from 60 times in 1989 to over 200 times today. Now, most people would say bad, very bad. And in this week's discussion on executive pay, we're going to spend a lot of time on this, and you see that emotions get to be quite challenged, and people think that that's automatically unfair. And so I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes talking about, is it unfair? Is it fair? Um, and so here's three concepts to think about, or at least three statements to think about. First, in this country, you're paid what you're worth. There's only one CEOs and there are a lot of workers. So you're paid what you are worth, which brings us to the second concept. You are paid what others are willing to pay you. I don't know many workers, and I've been in HR for over 20 years. I don't know many workers as if you give them pay or a pay increase will say, I don't want it. Give it to somebody else. I don't know another person who has said that they shouldn't be paid more which is one of the concepts is that everyone thinks they should be paid more. So when you look at these first three statements, it, it comes into play a little bit, which brings us to the last part, part. We often want to get the best deal, whether it's cleaning someone's home or having somebody clean your home, doing your own lawn, having somebody else do your lawn, doing your shopping and going to a store that gives you the best deal, not many people are going to say, I'm going to buy whatever it is, no matter what the cost. Not many of us are in that situation. So we're always looking for the best deal. And so when you look at executive pay and you start to realize, hey, you're paid what you're worth. If they're getting that kind of pay, maybe they're worth it. But the second one's really the kicker. They're paid what other people are willing to pay them. And if somebody's willing to pay you that money, why would you not take it? It's inherent in each of us when there's a raise, no matter what level we are in the, in this, in the organization to accept it. Everyone thinks that they should be paid more from the CEO on down. And it leads us to the last one is we always try to get the best deal. We want the best deal, no matter if it's our salary or any expense that we're having. Here's the last thought. They made a statement one time, I think it was Bonnie and Clyde says, why do you rob banks? And they said, it's because where the money is. I hope in this week, all of us realize we want to go where the money is. And if the money's in a CEO, we're going to try to be a CEO. If the money is in medical, uh, as a medical the doctor, we want to go there. If the money is in a particular type of sales, we want to go there. I hope the concept that we get this week is that you're paid what others are willing to pay you. And if this is a position that's getting a tremendous amount of economic rewards, we want to go in that position. But it's going to be a great discussion. Everybody have a fantastic week.